Now, I know you all have probably heard the term people first culture here and there, right? No surprise. But what does it really mean? Well, I have to tell you, I put a smile on my face when I was listening to Jason's speech yesterday because he actually mentioned it. And people first cultures are rooted in the philosophy that we value people over profit. That's exactly what he said. And the ironic twist here is that when employees are valued as a whole individual, they're provided that opportunity for mental well-being, connection, and fulfillment. Listen, these are really what help companies become more profitable, right? It's through the people. And I know we're in this fast-paced technology world, but it's so important to remember that people are our greatest assets when it comes to an organization. So the question is, how do we create this people-first culture? Well, I just have a couple of quick tips to share with you that I believe can help. One, start by simply listening. You know, you don't know what you don't know, and that's okay, but it's important to check in with your employees, right? So think about this, when was the last time you did a one-on-one? -on -one? Now, I'm not talking about work. I know that, one-on-ones. What have you accomplished? What are you working on? What's the gap? What are you gonna do about it? No, I'm talking about the person. How is your day going? What are your goals in life, right? How do you get to know them? And when you simply ask them these questions, right, you, you learn their backstory, right? Where they come from, what's important to them. And what's great is when you get to know them, you're gonna understand them better, right? And then you can relate those goals of those people to align with the goals of your organization. I have to tell you, so many years ago, uh, when my parents passed away, my siblings and I went to kind of go through the home and everything and pack it up. And I chose to go into the drawers back in their bedroom and Lo and behold, I was surprised when I saw my report cards. <laughs> this is the last thing I was expecting to see. And as I got into my third grade report card, there it said it right there. James Frank is a motor mouth. That is what my teacher said. <laughs> and I just bursted out completely laughing hysterically. I couldn't stop. My siblings are like, what is going on? I said, well, you know... Now that I look back on my third grade teacher, shame on her. Why did she not see this as a talent? Because now I get paid a lot of money to talk at work. But you see, she didn't get my back story. She didn't get to know me as a person. But anyway, I just wanted to share that. So a second thing is empathy. So to quote the great and powerful Oprah Winfrey, and I'm gonna read this because I don't wanna do it wrong. She said, leadership is about empathy. It's about having the ability to relate to and connect with people for the purpose of inspiring and empowering their lives. That's a big statement, right? But empathy does involve yourself in another person's shoes. Put yourself in that, right? You figure things out because when you value somebody's perspectives or their insights or their thoughts or feelings, you know, empathy goes beyond that listening, right? Because what it does is it makes that the work is not just about the listening, or hearing, it's do you truly understand that person? And that's the most important part. So this one is no surprise to you all. Appreciation and gratitude, right? We hear this a lot, but listen, a little appreciation goes very, very far. And it is definitely a part of a people first culture. And it pays off because appreciation doesn't have to be a reward you give them every day, right? It doesn't have to be in a group of people, but think about this. When was the last time you wrote a handwritten card just to thank somebody versus shooting it in an email, right? When was the last time you said, hey, you know what? I appreciate what you do, work half a day today, right? Or how about, you know what? I wanna take you out, let's go have lunch together, let's just chit chat, you know, and talk about that appreciation. That's how you really impact people. And the other one is, of course, and I know we all hear this, practice what you preach, right? But again, I want to put a little twist on it. We talk about that when it comes to work, right? Like, I'm never going to ask you to do something that I won't do myself. But let's, let, let's look at this differently. What about a lifestyle? 
right? So if you're telling your employees, you need to take time off, right? Take that time off, enjoy it. How about telling yourself that, right? We all work very, very hard, and we know we have a lot going on, but it's important for you as well to take that time off, right? That's how you truly lead by example. So to sum it up, uh, people need to feel seen. They need to be heard, and most importantly, they need to be appreciated. So as leaders, we have such a great opportunity to make a difference. So I leave you with this. Celebrate your people. Buddy, buddy, buddy.